Go ahead, Ron. Let me have it. Oh, wait, I'll do it for you. I told you so, Leslie. This is what happens when the government interferes with business. Government is bad, business is good, free market. <laughs> Capitalism is the only way, Leslie. It moves our country forward. It's what makes America great, and England okay, and France terrible. My idea of a perfect government is one guy who sits in a small room at a desk, and the only thing he's allowed to decide is who to nuke. The man is chosen based on some kind of IQ test and maybe also a physical tournament, like a decathlon. And women are brought to him, maybe, when he desires them. Even though I'm a firm believer in the free market and your failure as a businessman is ultimately to blame, it's still a travesty your diner is closing. Are you Ron Swanson? I am. Okay, what exactly did you teach my daughter? Oh, uh, you must be Mrs. Burkus. Lauren was supposed to do a paper on why government matters. This is what she wrote. It doesn't. <laughs> well said. Is this a joke? No, ma'am. I legitimately believe that. I'm a libertarian. Oh, that's nice. Well, she is a fourth grader. And fourth graders aren't supposed to have their heads crammed full of weird ideas. They're supposed to do cute reports and get gold stars. Libertarianism is all about individual liberty, and it should never be defined by the terms liberal or conservative. And communism is no good. That's right. right? Big swing and a miss. Yeah. This action by Councilwoman Nope is nothing more than a thinly veiled government bailout, and I, for one, refuse to let her turn this town into a socialist hellscape. Allow me to elaborate. That sounds like an efficient use of the free market. I would wish you the best of luck, but I believe luck is a concept invented by the weak to explain their failures. That is appealing. If someone is interested in buying you out, it means you're doing something right. I say you continue to grow, accumulate power, find this investor, and buy his business to teach him a lesson. Ron. Miss Nope. How's that zero dollar bid coming along? You know, in my experience with capitalism, people normally expect money in exchange for their goods and land. In my experience with butt faces, you are one. With current and projected deficits, we need to cut expenditures by 32%. Let's make it an even 40. Oh, that's not necessary. Slash it, slash it. I am an official member of a task force dedicated to slashing the city budget. Just saying that gave me a semi. Right off the bat, we sell City Hall. Let somebody turn it into a large gas station or a TJ Maxx. Ron, that is a very creative idea. But we don't want to sell any of our major assets because we don't want to lose out on any future revenue streams. I hear that. Don't worry, I have tons more ideas. Okay, uh... So sorry. New ringtone. Don't cut anything without me. The free market is a jungle. It's beautiful and brutal and should be left alone. When a business fails, it dies and a new, better one takes its place. Just let business be business and government be government. Look, friend, I respect your slavish devotion to the free market, but you can't welch on a contract. <laughs> Where I come from, a man's word is sacred. This is your lunch. Now, you should be able to do whatever you want to with this, right? If you want to eat all of it, great. If you want to throw it away in the garbage, that's your prerogative. But here I come, the government, and I get to take 40% of your lunch. And that, Lauren, is how taxes work. But that's not fair. You're learning. Uh-oh, capital gains tax. Ron? Well, it's a bold capitalistic gambit, son, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. London at night. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Yes, I will take this. Uh, we don't accept American currency, sir. Of course you do. That's the most wonderful piece of paper in the world. Accept it. Very sorry, sir. Fine. Enjoy the fact that your royal overlords are a frail old woman and a tiny baby. I have a joke for you. Okay. The government in this town is excellent and uses your tax dollars efficiently. <laughs> the whole point of this country is if you want to eat garbage, balloon up to 600 pounds, and die of a heart attack at 43, you can. You are free to do so. To me, that's beautiful. Behold! 
The Swanson Pyramid of Greatness. I've been developing the Swanson Pyramid of Greatness for years. It's a perfectly calibrated recipe for maximum personal achievement. Categories include capitalism, God's way of determining who is smart and who is poor. Crying, acceptable at funerals and the Grand Canyon. Rage, poise, property rights, fish for sport only, not for meat. Fish meat is practically a vegetable. All I'm saying is keep an open mind for a while. Listen to your teachers and read all the books you can. Then when you're 18, you can drink, gamble, and become a libertarian. The drinking age is 21. I know. Another stupid government rule. I'm being audited by the IRS. No! Your worst nightmare! You know what? Screw this. First of all, income tax is illegal. Second... <laughs> <laughs> Leslie! Even though I didn't invite you, you came here anyway. I, I respect that because you made a choice as a free American. What are you eating? I call this Turf and Turf. It's a 16 ounce T-bone and a 24 ounce porterhouse. Also, whiskey and a cigar. I'm gonna consume all of this at the same time because I am a free American. I got my first job when I was nine, worked at a sheet metal factory. In two weeks, I was running the floor. Child labor laws are ruining this country. Because of my libertarian beliefs, Leslie does 95% of the work. So you should lay me off. I'd be proud to be a casualty in this righteous war. It's precisely because of your beliefs that we need to keep you. You would maintain fiscal responsibility after we're gone. Okay, you need to understand that just to keep this town afloat, we probably have to cut the budget of every department by 40 or 50%, okay? Well, but Chris said that you just had to, you know, tinker with things. Yeah, he said that because that sounds a lot better than we're going to gut it with a machete, okay? <laughs> so we need to find proof of every tax deduction I've taken in the last five years. Ron, most of these aren't even receipts. This one says, I bought supplies, 2007. You won't find any bank statements either. I've heavily invested in gold, which I've buried in several different locations around Pawnee. Or have I? What's this? The government should not prop up a failed business. That would be like giving food to a mortally wounded animal instead of slitting its throat and properly utilizing its meat and pelt. Please stop talking about wounded meat. Our investigation has revealed that things in Pawnee are much worse than we anticipated. Meaning what? Well, effective tomorrow morning, the entire government will be shut down until further notice.